Welcome to Lesson 9, Changing to P5 Instance Mode. Most of the P5.js programs I've seen have been in this form, where everything is created in the global context. But this can lead to problems, especially with larger files and when you mix in other JavaScript libraries. So there's a way that you can make your P5.js programs using instance mode. So I've changed the 3D Snake program to use instance mode, and I'm just very quickly going to show you the differences. Most of the code is the same. I had to move some blocks of code around, so they'll show up as big differences. But the biggest change is that the code is now inside this anonymous function. We create a P5 object with this new operator, and we pass it an anonymous function that takes this formal parameter P, and then we use this P to connect up the things that we need to do with P5. So here, instead of saying function preload and having that be in the global context, we just create a preload property in this P object and that property is a function. Another difference is we don't call things like load image, create canvas directly. We call them as methods on the P object. So most of these changes as I scroll through will be that kind of thing. And you may not realize how many of these P5 features we're using, like min, for instance, that becomes p.min and window width and width and height, those all now need to be prefixed with p dot, even round. Here's the draw function. Millis now takes the p dot. This, I think, is just moved, because the I put it up here with the other um, P5 related functions that we're overriding, like setup, draw, key pressed. Um, so the contents hasn't changed, it's just moved, and that's why it shows up as this big block here. P.create vector. Here's the key pressed that now is up a little higher. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same code, just with p dot in front of things. And that takes us all the way through.